Hi Internet. So today we're going to take a look at my new package, which I got from the Kickstarter. Uh, is basically a cold brew uh, drip um, pot over here. So this is how you would make a cold brew coffee. So this is a Kickstarter, which uh, I just got today in the mail. So we're going to take it out. So the packaging over here is very nice, as you can see. Um, they did a great job. Uh, it's a nice feel and everything. So let's take it open. Uh, I already broke the seal, but this is actually the first time that I will be removing the item. So, so the top comes off like this. Okay, so it's the top here. We're gonna put that aside. Um, and then you see on the bottom over here, I mean on the top, uh, basically um, the protection that you get so I'm gonna just slide this out again nice packaging okay so it has these little tape things here uh, I'm gonna basically just pull them okay one and here's the second one. Okay. So then I should be able to open up the shell. And you can see over here, uh, my cold brewer is pretty much uh, intact. Uh, there's no damage. And let's just take a look at everything here. Uh, let's look at the pieces. Okay, so the pieces here, you have the main bottom piece. Uh, you have this um, bottom piece over here. It was the, the wire mesh. You can see. Okay, so this is um, silicone. It's nicely made. Go put that aside here this over um, oops so this is the twisting part I guess and here are the pack of filters oh this is kind of tough to pull out for beginning but not too bad so these are the AeroPress filters that they use they give you an, a great amount here see uh, this is the I guess the inner piece has a silicone piece over here. Just guess to uh, make sure uh, it doesn't chip the glass. And here's the lid that they promised. Very nice. Okay, so here's the little pieces here. Uh, so I'm going to take this foam piece off. And just to show you. Very nice, nice metal. Little bottom piece looks pretty cool. So this is basically going to go in here. This piece goes in here too. Here's an instruction manual that they give you. The front cover is basically just a message uh, welcoming you to the co-brewer uh, and thanking you for starting the Kickstarter. Uh, inside basically tells you what to do. It's pretty uh, simple. It just basically tells you to put two ounces of coffee in the top uh, with the filter, put the paper filter on top, insert it into the pitcher, pour water with two ounces, uh, oh sorry, one ounce of coffee, uh, put the plug inside, and then fill the rest with 12 fluid ounces and 12 ounces of ice and then adjust the valve to one drip per second. And the back over here just tells you how to clean it. All right. Uh, basically, I'm gonna measure out uh, two ounces. Uh, right now, I'm using one of my favorite beans. It's um, roasted by Temple. This one's awesome, definitely try. Okay, so 
uh, if you can see over here, I'm using it in the Hario. Um, so this is two ounces. When you switch to grams, it's about 55 grams. So that's the conversion. And you can see here, this is a fair amount of beans. It's pretty much uh, almost full to the top. Uh, if it was done in the port lux, you would probably have to do two, three uh, batches. So I'm gonna start grinding these down. So basically right now, um, I took the brewer. Uh, basically I put the mesh bottom, uh, I put it on. Uh, and then I insert it into the main pitcher. Now over here, according to the directions now, is you're supposed to pour the coffee in there. Um, I'm trying to be careful not to get it into the water reservoir side. Okay, so that could be a little tricky uh, if you're not careful. Uh, you could get the coffee dust on your side, but uh, I didn't really have a problem with that. Okay, so I'm just going to even it out. Now the direction says to now insert one of the, the AeroPress filters over here. Uh, so basically it's a thin sheet. Place it down here. And then pre um, I'm just gonna wait for the scale to turn on. And then after that, uh, just do a little pre-soak with one ounce of water. Um, I'm just gonna use filtered water. Um, I'm just gonna be careful over here. Okay, that's one ounce. Uh, you basically see it, it does go through. Uh, you can see some res residual on the bottom over there with one ounce. Okay. Now, then it tells me uh, that I should put the silicone uh, plug. Uh, I think next time I'll probably use less water to uh, pre-soak the grinds. Okay. So put the silicone in. Uh, you gotta make sure that you have a good seal, otherwise the water is just gonna go through. And I have tightened it all the way. Okay, at least I think it's all the way. Okay, I'm gonna zero out again. Now it tells me to put in 12 fluid ounces of cold water and 12 ounces of ice. Uh, I don't feel like putting ice in this thing because um, it is a little small on the side. Uh, so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna use my filter water, which is ice cold. And then I'm gonna just put the entire thing into the refrigerator. All right. And that should not uh, start dripping while I'm pouring this. So I'm gonna to try to go for one pound and eight ounces. I wanna show the inner workings of the drip control. So as you see on the metal rod, there's a line. And when you line it up to slit, uh, it'll start dripping fast. When you move it away, it'll drip slower. So that's basically how you control the flow of the drip in the cold brew system. So this is roughly about what um, 24 ounces of water looks like. Okay. Now I'm going to start turning the top and try to get that drip. Okay, so I'm going to just turn it, loosen it a little bit to the left. Okay, so it's one. So you can tell it's kind of fast right now. So uh, some people have trouble figuring out what um, one second is like. So what I like to do is have a timer and then you can compare it and then you could just count against it, right? So because sometimes you count like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, it's a little difficult. Uh, so what you do is just put a timer next to it and then you could just see it from that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play around with this and try to get it to go one second per drop and then we'll check on it tomorrow morning. You can see that the brewer is short enough where it'll fit in the fridge and that's basically where it's going to hang out while it's brewing. This is after uh, we finished making the cold brew. Uh, as you can see over here that um, 
after it's done dripping, uh, the coffee level stays right below the wire mesh. Okay? So now we're going to give it a shot to see what it tastes like. So we're just lay this on the table here. And I have a cup. And this is the color that comes out. Pretty light. Coffee is very smooth, uh, not bitter. It has good flavor. Um, this is the first uh, test batch. I'll probably end up doing a more finer grind because I like a slightly stronger tasting. But overall, this is uh, pretty good to use. Um, I do like the design a lot, um, but there is a little thing in here. I can see it's not a big deal, but there is some water left in the top, and that's just the way it is. But uh, compared to other cold brew devices I've used, um, it, the water did not get stuck in the upper uh, water reservoir, uh, which happens a lot. Uh, mostly is because of um, the pressure. Uh, this is pretty much an open top. Uh, cold brew so there are some others where it's a glass ball and sealed and because of that it creates a vacuum inside okay. and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use the top like this let me just zoom out here I'm going to just use the top like this in the refrigerator until I have finished this batch and then once there I'm going to try again so thanks for watching if you like uh, please subscribe and you'll receive more of my updates. So this is the, the second batch I made over here. And we're going to test it out. This is going to be a first pour. As you can see, the color is a little darker. Um, so let's try to taste it. And the taste is stronger. So you could adjust the taste by the grind and the rate of the flow. So this, uh, I'll continue playing around with it.